What's up, old school homies? Today we're going to talk about Pudding Stone Reservoir. This is a lowland reservoir here in Southern California. And we have a lot of these, so <clears throat> the fishing is a little bit different. I will, I will go in, into like a fishing video later. Maybe talk about that. It, it, it's too long. So what, what it is is you can't really see it off the freeway right because there's this big dam it's a dam so most people just see the dam but they can't see the water and then if you were like in Pomona you would see this big hill and you wouldn't see it there either because it's on the other side of the hill so to really see Pudding Stone Reservoir it's in an odd place spectacle wide you would have to drive across this little weird road and it's right there next to Raging Waters, too. It's a water park, uh, which also kind of makes it unpopular, too, because people would just go to the water park if you wanted to do something in the water, unless you had a boat. But if you have a boat, it's kind of too small to go there because it's 250 acres. You can power boat on the even days, power boat, jet ski, and then personal watercraft on the odd days in the summer switches off back and forth and uh, I think after October you can basically do either or you can go out there with a fishing boat or a personal watercraft whatever you want it's not going to be as traffic oriented anymore it's just really not that popular to be honest we used to host a whole bunch of boat races but there was nowhere to stop People were like crashing and I think we had a lot more of those little tiny boats there too but I haven't seen them for a while either too dangerous you know the lifeguards are really good out there and they, they are keeping an eye out for you but there has been some fatalities recently like a big power boat hit a jet ski with some people on it and a lot of people got hurt, both on the boat and the jet ski, I think, killed. There was, it was a huge investigation. I could see, like, helicopters coming over the water. Um, they, like, sat over the water the next day and thought about what they were going to do with the divers. And I was there fishing, like, what the heck happened? And I read about it, and I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, it's scary over there. Like, it's just a tiny little mosh pit where you're going to be able to power boat. I don't recommend it. Unless maybe it was the winter time and you just went out there with your, like, wetsuit on. You'd have the whole lake to yourself. Like, nobody would really be there. Um, another funny f fact about it is uh, there are mountain lions there. They walk right up to the water and drink the water when the sun goes down. I fished right next to him before I just like sat there and I seen him. And this girl was like, yeah, they come down every day. I was like, what? So yeah, watch out for the mountain lions. They're around there. The coyotes aren't scared of you either. They'll walk right up to you, which kind of trips me out. Even with other people around me, the coyotes kind of walk up to me. So they should probably work on their coyote problem. Um... We got hot tubs like above the thing. I've never been up there, but like you could get this little kinky hot tub room, <laughs> sort of like hookup place. I don't know. I've heard about it. It's just like you get a hot tub and it's like in maybe maybe in a little heart, like the Dumb and Dumber scene or I don't know. There's a campground where you can park your RV. There's like a lower parking lot and an upper parking lot, but I park in the park and ride for free and I come down on my bike. It's really cool for bass fishing. I, I bass fish it in the summer, and for a challenge, I fish it in the winter. It's very, very hard in the winter, but you can catch fish. Uh, it's better for a kayak than a full-on bass boat. You don't need, like, a gigantic bass boat. Just bring, like, a really small one. 